We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? That wasn't Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport? Our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. The dead have no business with the living. Letting go is hard. Even for the dead. Dies bind fast. And we are paid to cut the knot. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you wouldn't they? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGraith, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Firebane. She says I'm the reckless one. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, sorry. Who's there? And there? Spectres have seen Antea, have you? You're the 
boss and all that could have included me. you see? We never stood a chance. Matea, are you hot? Where are you? I'm here, my love. What happened? Yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? Where's Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, the fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Oh,
If you had laid a finger on her... You're what? Come to her aid? Oh, there is no aid. There is oh, only... Oh, retribution. Give him back. How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your manner, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. Come to her aid now, when all is lost. If you do, I'll be waiting. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go! Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but do I? 
You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him and answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? Of course it matters. It means you're alive and you haven't given up. Who sent you? Her name is Ceridian, and my hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. You should have let me die. What are you, a child? Are they teaching self-pity in Banisher School now? This nightmare, how it spoke. I tore right through. I've never seen the like of it. Few have. Fewer have lived to tell of it. What drew such a powerful spirit here? Who knows? Something awful, I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. A friend said that. He was trying to warn us. An immutable law. You have wise friends. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. <laughs> have faith, you say that you... Do not know me. Easy said. Harder done. What comes easy in life tends not to matter. It's the hard stuff that counts. You've a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why do you hate me? I serve my mistress. She bids me help you, so I help you. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief and it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith, but they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons, the best. Where are you going? Home, to Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if, or when I need to? Maya marshes, great big swamps on the other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Till we meet again then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. <laughs>